Hi, and welcome to this series of videos on the D200 uh, platform or the D20 platform. Basically, today we're going to show you the 517-0245 module layout, as you can see it in your uh, screen. So, in this video, we're going to show you the backplane of the D200, how we set it up when it comes out of the factory. Basically, you've got these jumpers, J33, Z29, Z31, and... Uh, the end Z30 and Z32. So these are set up according to this module layout. If you follow the module layout, which you can download from the link of this video, you will be able to take a look at the P4 setup, which basically talks about the seven serial ports that are allocated to node 1. If you're wondering about what's node 1, you can watch on my previous videos on the D20, D200 uh, platform, okay? So, as you can see, based on this back background, you can allow for one, two, three, four nodes on this communication interface. If you require more than four nodes, as you know that the D200 can go up to five nodes recommended. If you go beyond five, five nodes, that's not recommended. You can add an extra bracket here and that bracket will contain the second interface node and this second interface node will allow for more of these seven serial ports to be allocated. The jumpers are to be set up as you've seen for our factory uh, defaults. And then you've got one, two, three, four channels for your peripherals. At the end here, you've got your power connections. So basically we start with a power connection and then your peripheral connections. The jumpers are to be set up in accordance to the module layout, whether you want channel A or channel B. And then you've got your five serial ports, seven serial port per node. 